Okay, so we're going to do a boring bar. Uh, this boring bar is going to have a CAPTO interface, a uh, CAPTO C5 interface. And if we look at the model, this model is from Velocity. So <clears throat> basically, we want to set this so that this is the face of the of the tool block that is going to interface with the turret itself. So we want the blue vector to be pointing outward uh, normal to that. So in order to do that, uh, you can just highlight any one of these faces and I'm going to come over to align Z. I'm just going to hit align Z here real quick and you'll see that this will snap the solid so that it is sitting at basically Z0. So this is uh, interfaced with the XY plane of Z0 and then it is normal to that face. Um, the other thing is the red arrow, the X, that is pointing toward the main spindle. So this, uh, this C5 holder is going to be and you know what, I don't need this solid. I'm, I just see that in there right now. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. I want this to be oriented facing this way. <clears throat> so what I can do is, you know, you can window in on everything, or you can hit right click and select all, or you can use your keyboard control A. Any of them will work, uh, whatever you want to do here. So I'm just going to window in on the whole thing by clicking and dragging and then I'm going to right click and say copy and then I'm just going to say move and we're going to say uh, rotate <laughs> and 180 degrees and using the origin is fine it's just going to rotate about that point so now we can see that this is now pointing toward the main spindle which is the way that we want it. So this whole solid is uh, highlighted right now. Um, what we can do is come over here to our properties window and to view properties under the the home tab under show hide it's the top one just make sure that the check is there and your property should be somewhere on your screen. I'm just going to come over here and expand general and select a color. And the color that I'm going to pick, this is a velocity holder. Um, you know, I'm not sure actually this one, is it, is it going to be that, uh, you know, kind of copper color or, or a dark black, depending on the, on, on what they do for anti-corrosion. Uh, what I'm going to do is just pick black and then kind of, uh, bring this, uh, bring this scroll bar up to maybe like uh, like maybe uh, I don't know 75 or something bring that up to 75 we'll add that to the custom colors and everything is now dark that looks good and then on these two guys I like to pick these solids and then come here and pick something that is going to look like um, a copper you know coolant line looks kind of nice and then uh, you know if you want to change some other colors or something if you want to grab something else and just give it a little bit more you know visual uh, a little bit more visual appealing that looks nice so we have this oriented so that the tool adapter is going to be, the mounting is facing toward the main spindle. Uh, we have our Z interfacing with the turret correctly. And now what I want to do is, um, this is for uh, a boring bar. So I want, to, I want to set a tool position here at the center and at the face of this C5 Capto interface. So we're going to come here and I'm going to just say work plane from geometry and you can pick a, a whatever you want here. You can, you know, there's a bunch of different choices here, but work plane from geometry works well. 
uh, what I can do is just kind of move my my uh, <clears throat> my mouse until it either moves to the center or you can even just pick one of these arcs and it will just go ahead and snap the UVW into orientation. Now, if it doesn't, actually this is a good orientation because we're going to want our insert facing up toward the turret when we load the tool. Uh, but let's try this again and let's try the center uh, that did the same thing. Let's try this face. Okay, here we go. So this one did not work uh, in the way that we want because we want the blue paint pointing inward into the holder itself. So if this is what happens, not a big deal. We can come here and say rotate UVW. And uh, it might be easier to do this in two, in, in two steps. For me, I could do it in one. But what I'll do just to kind of visualize this in two different steps, we're going to rotate, and it says here, what's the rotational angle about U? We're going to say U is going to be 180. So we're going to say 180, 0, 0, and it puts our blue in the right orientation. And then if we want to do it again, we're going to rotate about our blue guy minus 90. So I'm going to hit this again and say 0, 0, minus 90. And then it goes ahead and places my UVW in the correct orientation. So what I mean by this, again, blue is going into the holder. It's at the center of this. And then the red is the way that the insert is going to point when it appears. So my tool is going to come out and basically have the insert pointing upward toward the turret. Okay, so what I want to do to define that is say this is a tool adapter, and I'm going to also do a holder adapter. So why did I do both? Well, the holder adapter is because I'm going to put a C5 Capto, you know, turning insert adapter in here. Uh, the tool adapter is if I wanted to cheat as an end user, I'm using a spree. I don't have the solid model for my whatever, you know, C5 adapter, and I just want to make my tool and have it stick out, and I'm not too worried about the collision checking of the adapter itself. This way I could put either a tool or a holder here with a tool on the end of the holder, so I could do both. So once I've done this, and we're happy with the way that this looks. I'll come here and say save as. And we want to make this a holder GDML file. And uh, where the heck did I load this from? <laughs> this was a velocity tool. So we're going to come to uh, data, holders, velocity, sumatic, And it should be in this folder here. So I'm going to just put a little notation in here, boring bar, and we are done. So now if I go back to this, uh, this was the original step file. If I click on this guy, we can look at our preview, and that looks pretty good. So we've got that done. Let's see what it looks like on the machine. Okay, we have our machine, and we're going to go ahead and place the holder on the turret. So we're going to come to our Tool Assemblies tab, and we're going to right-click on any of the stations and say Add Adaptive Item. So here I'll go to the folder which I just created this, and here we go. So when I double-click it, it's going to appear on the station that I wanted to add it to. And if I zoom out, you can see the red vector is pointing toward the main spindle, the blue. It's kind of hard to see, but it's up in there, going up into the uh, turret. And now we'll say, OK, I could right click and say add an adaptive item. So because I added that HA, that holder adapter position, I have the capability to add a, another holder. So here, um, and we see the preview here on the, on the right. 
So in Windows, you know, if I want to load this this tool holder right here that I'm previewing, I'll just say OK. And again, it's going to pop in there. And if you look, look at that red arrow. That red arrow is pointing up. And this is the way that I want it to be. The blue is pointing in. And that's the way that I want it to be. So when I create this GDML, my zero point is going to be here with the blue vector normal, like I would a milling holder. And then uh, I'll say OK. And then you can right click and say Add a Turning Tool. So with the turning tool, oh, let's turn off the machine, get it out of the way here so we can see. Looks like this is a 35 degree. So let's say I wanted to use this insert, but I wanted to actually change the adaptive item. So this is a good little, uh, good little routine here. So let's, uh, let's look at some of these here. Nope, not that one. Maybe this one here. Maybe this one or this one looks good. Uh, that one looks better. So loading in, swapping out adapters, you know, not a big deal. Very easy to do once you've correctly created your GDMLs.